Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gerard. At the moment, I am here in Cape Town, South Africa, and it's summertime, and it's one of those bad, bad, windy days. And that means you can't really do any kind of hunting when the wind is blowing like this, or do any kind of shooting, really. But, like you guys do know me, I'm a very dedicated guy. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna go out there and still get you some awesome footage to watch. This is my PRS 22 competition rig and it's been built to shoot in bad windy days like today. So I'm going to use it for today's hunting plus I brought along some new accessories which I'm also going to showcase on this channel today which I'm very excited about which include also a night hunt. So with that being said let's go out there and let's get started. Smoked, styling down. Double, straight down. Falling down. So, if you guys have a PCP air rifle, somewhere along the line you're going to have to buy yourself an air tank as well. Now, this is where I want to show you this bit of kit which I've received lately from the guys from Scandinavian Arms. First off, they sent me their big carbon fiber bottle, it's called the Major and it is inside this awesome neoprene cover which protects this carbon fiber bottle if you handle it outside in the field. Now the nice thing about this bottle is it fits in their range bag. They've got this nice range bag as well. It's got a big sling on it which you can throw over your shoulder. You can carry it around and also on this range bag on the side they've got big detachable pouches which you basically can fill with anything that you want. Now the nice thing is that bottle fits inside here and it zips close and then you have everything you want in one storage uh, bag. I think it's an awesome bit of kit so if you are looking for a uh, air tank and you're looking for a bag you want to go with the air tank then this setup is definitely something you need to check out. Perfect! Perfect! Such a satisfying feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Never gets old, how sparrow. So 
So, recently I've entered a big PRS 22 provincial match here in South Africa. And I can now proudly report back that I managed to get a second place in the open division. Now this is quite awesome because I managed to keep my own against these professional guys in a big provincial match with my air rifle. And that's saying a lot about this gun. A good friend of mine called Ashraf also entered the match and he brought along something very special for me. And this is it. It's called a scope guardian. Now this is a leather cover that you can put over the front of your scope. It's been custom made for the certain scope that you've got on your gun and it sits like a glove. It's basically a leather cover that you put over the front of your scope to protect it against dust, scratches and dings. I think it's a perfect accessory if you're doing precision shooting, especially if you move between barricades and stuff like that, or if you go outside in the field and you do hunting. So you guys can drop him a DM on his Instagram account. I'll leave a little uh, link to his Instagram at the bottom here. Drop him a DM, tell him what scope cover you would love to have. And the nice thing is he will ship it for you worldwide. So definitely go check him out because I think it's an awesome bit of kit to have on your gun. Person down, awesome shot. <laughs> Again, no words, smoked. the one off the wire there. I met a good friend of mine called Carl and he's from England and he makes shooting accessories. He has sent me this little rear rest. Now the name for this is a Fortis Micro Adjustable Rear Rest. Now there's a couple of nice features about this rest because it can do a lot of things. The first thing is it is very easy to set up. It's got a little lever on the side here which you can just loosen and that lever makes big adjustments to go downwards, lower, or it makes big adjustments to come upwards, higher. Another great feature about the rest is that the top part of the rest here can swivel so that basically can adapt to the angle of your rear stock. Now if you lock it down like that and you're just laying behind the gun you can also do micro adjustments up and downwards because it's got adjustable wheel that sits here underneath the rest here. So if I turn this wheel, I can lift the rest higher at the back or if I turn it the other way, I can drop it down lower. If you loosen here and you fold it up, it's very small and compact. Look at that. You can just chuck it in your backpack or you can put it into the case in which I received it in. Very, very nice. Very, very strong, and I think it's a must have for the guys, especially if you're doing firearms like center fires. Ouchies. Ah, no words. No. Stuff, eh? <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> Perfect shot. I'm getting ready for tonight's hunt. I'm going to a factory where there's a lot of pest birds like pigeons, starlings, house sparrows and whatever. Of course, I've swapped out my scope as well for this new scope that I've got here on top. Now, let me speak about the scope quickly. It's a part, it's a DS35. It's a night and day scope. The first thing that stands out for me is that it looks like a normal traditional scope. It's got a focus ring in the front here, which you can actually turn and focus your image. This unit comes with a built-in range finder. So by the press of a button, it will tell you how far your target is for you. It also has a ballistic calculator inside. If you press it again, it will tell you the hold where you need to hold on the crosshair with a little X. Built into this unit is a IR light that sits on top here for the night vision. A nice feature about this whole scope for me is that you can record whatever you are shooting. There's also a, a still shot or a screenshot function which you can take photos while you're shooting as well. It's got a lithium battery here which you can take out and recharge and put it in there. Nice feature about the scope as well, it comes with rings here as well. So I didn't have to go buy separate rings to mount the scope on top here. The rings was included inside the box. Tonight I'll be using it for the first time and testing it as well. I'm very excited about it. So without further ado, I think let's go out there and let's get started. Smoked. First one down for the afternoon. Perfect shot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just dropped. Easy shot. Plonk. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> what a lovely shot. Awesome shooting pellets again. Smash down. Beautiful little neck shoulder shot there. Lovely, lovely. Straight down. Perfect. Starting down. So currently we're sitting inside a factory roof at the moment where there's a lot of pigeons and starlings and house sparrows roosting. Very hot and humid up here as well. But yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna keep on soldiering on. Good that, Kevin? Yeah. Easy pickings, my friend. Easy pickings. Okay. Right, Kevin? Yeah. Another one down. Oh. Smoked that starling. Okay, go for it. Starling. Oh, 
your explosion. <laughs> Well, that's it for the evening. We did quite well here at the factory. A lot of pigeons, starlings, a few house sparrows down. Uh, we're going to call it a night now, take a rest, and then we're going to wait for tomorrow and carry on with some hunting. Well, that's it for this week's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys next time. Cheers.